how's it going today guys we're not in the usual uh, space because the sound echoes in there and someone is right below me and they're making a bunch of noise so maybe a little bit later uh, I'll be back in there but for right now we are in the uh, the man cave today I'm going to be going over some mid-century modern architecture in Illinois and then a couple other different houses as well that I found that I think are pretty interesting. So we're going to take a look at those. And at the time of filming, all these houses are for sale on the market. So maybe you want to buy it. We're going to get our first... I got a couple lined up. You can see them all up in there in the tabs, but we're using Zillow today. For this video, we're going to be looking at a mid-century modern style. I think it's a mid-century modern style house here in Peoria, Illinois. So that's kind of like in central, central, a little bit southern Illinois. Um, big city. I think Peoria is like the fourth or fifth largest city in Illinois. But it, it looks like a nice one-story. So a big old sprawling ranch, three three-car garage. Um, let's take a look at, it's been on here for almost a year. Let's see, Live Life Art, Art Fleet, Mid-Century Modern, there we go. 3,600 square feet house on about almost one and a half acre, acres, 1.28 acres. That's pretty nice. High Point, that must be the neighborhood it's in. Let's see, it's got updates, nice views apparently, or supposedly. Built-in buffet and large windows to the grounds. Spacious. Primary suite, closets, fully tiled bathroom. Uh, oh, a fireplace, of course. Always got to have a nice fireplace. They have a sunroom. Uh, patio, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fully finished heated three-car garage. Nice. That'd be a nice place to put the Lexi, the Lexuses. Um, oh, they got, here we go. They have a circular driveway. I love those. Probably It's probably like a turnaround driveway. Or a U-shaped driveway from what this first uh, from what this, this first picture seems looks like, and the exterior is accented by low maintenance landscaping. Very nice. Looks like it's custom. This is who it was listed by. So this guy is who guys who's selling it. Go ahead and check them out. Stone drive, stone fireplace, circular. I would call it a U-shaped driveway, but a circular driveway. You know, same synonymous, same thing. Let's see what we got here. Four beds, four baths, and it's only at about only only at about about nine hundred thousand eight hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. So this is definitely a pretty high high price point. We got mature trees here. I like that red brick. Very long and sprawling ranch style. You got this big mature tree here, and then some smaller ones near, closer to the house. Driveway is still um, gra gravel. It's still, it's not concrete. It is asphalt. That's okay. Here we go. This is the neighborhood. So what you kind of you back up to the forest. That's pretty nice. And you see the houses in this neighborhood aren't too close together. So you got some nice distance from your neighbors. Here's your U-shaped or circular driveway, I should say. I'm going to continue to call it a U-shaped driveway. High Point Road. Okay. Coming up here, got this nice stone tile or a brick walk coming up to your front door. Love that whole, this whole window area right here where it's just from floor to ceiling. Some built-in planters right here. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Inside that front door. Looks like it's a little bit um a little bit dated, but that's okay. Some people do like that. I like the exposed those exposed beams here. Wood walls. You got the sunlight. There's that fireplace. And it's pretty uh segregated. We got some nice walls you know, segmenting the house. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is probably, I guess, the the living room. And we got our stone fireplace here. I like that light fixture. And we got a closed-in bar, is, is what it seems here. A closed bar in this cabinet. And the TV. 
possibly this closes as well. So you can, it's like a hideaway, hideaway bar, hideaway TV. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a living room. I like the stone on this fireplace, this long, flat, uh, I don't know if that's limestone or not, but it is nice nonetheless. Okay, pretty nice area. I like these, um, I'm blanking on them right now, but the wall lights. Okay. Keep going here. I got a lot of things for this living room. This might be our sunroom here in the back. We got two fans here, lighting. Yeah, this has got to be the sunroom. That's very nice as well. This must be all original, I'm thinking. Because I'm looking at these uh, light fixtures and, and the floors and whatnot. It's very, it seems like it's very dated. Look at those views, though. That's pretty nice. You're just looking out right into that, the top of that forest behind you. Here's a dining room. Wow, okay. Big old nice window in the back. It kind of almost looks like a canvas. But that's a nice big window in there letting in lots of lights. Looks like we got another one right here. I like this light fixture, the chandelier over the table. That's pretty nice. I would keep that long, thin uh, dining room table. Of course, does not come with the house, I would guess. But a nice, very nicely sized dining room. Ten or ten. Of course, it looks like it's cordoned off. It's sectioned off. This is an older house, so we don't have really an open floor plan, which is fine. Oh, here we go. Okay. We got the kitchen and the um, breakfast nook, breakfast area. We got a little bar area here as well. Mar uh, marble countertops for here. White marble and pretty modern sleek sleek run your hand through it uh, cabinetry I like this teal these teal light fixtures okay very big uh, galley galley kitchen I think this is what you call it where it's long and just one one kind of hall for the kitchen um, we have oven stove top uh, air intake, heat intake, I forget what this is called. I didn't think we had double ovens, but we do. Here we go. Double stacked ovens right here. Perhaps one of these is the microwave, but it looks like we got oven, oven, two to three ovens. Maybe that's the microwave up top there. The fridge is all the way at the end here. I'm loving this white marble contrasting with the cabinetry. Very, uh, it goes very well with the house. Recessed lighting. I always love some recessed lighting. That's, uh, just makes the property look more expensive, I think. Yep, that, this is your, this seems to be your, uh, microwave. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Breakfast nook here again. Big, ni nice windows. They're not floored ceiling, but they're big enough. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this has got to be probably your pantry, or a part of your pantry. Let's keep going here. Okay, so your kitchen, so this was our front door. So your kitchen is right uh, to your right as you walk into the front door, okay. Uh, front door again, that's got to be, that's got to be the coat closet. Bathroom, probably the main bathroom. Um, okay. This was where our uh, this is where our fireplace was. This here, I'm not sure. Let's see what's over here. This might be another living space. The uh, the family room, you know, very big, very nice. This looks like it faces to the front of the house. Carpeted, okay. And, oh, hang on. Maybe it doesn't. If this is the... Pardon me, this might face to the back of the house. I'm not sure. Yep, that looks like it faces to the back of the house. This family room does. Here's our porch. 
very nice. You got a brick paved patio, some small hedges, and um, just overlooks to this big tree and the forest behind you. And there's the river down there, if you can kind of see it. I wonder if it's on a hill, though, and if you would have to mow that where your property line ends. Here's your patio again, another big old tree there. Your floor to ceiling windows. I think that's your family room. Here's your kitchen, uh, probably bedroom, and then. Oh, you know what? This is the dining room, family room, family room, kitchen, uh, bedroom, probably. Uh, more nature. Probably office, office room, or a little. Uh, what would this be? Guest, guest room? Nice big bathroom here with a shower and a uh, bathtub. Kind of an odd design though. Looks like we got a very nice, this is off the kitchen, very nice big um, laundry room with another fridge here. This, this seems to be a laundry, either washer or dryer. And there's another fridge here for some reason. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing, like it's like a galley laundry room, it seems. It's pretty nice. Definitely would not mind doing laundry there. Okay, this here. Oh, you know what? This was what those corner windows were. This has to be the master bedroom, I'm thinking. Big old bed. Back of the house. And we're going to have to have a master closet and a bathroom here somewhere. Yeah, that's definitely the master. Very nice view. Again, an outside photo for some reason. Okay. Okay, this goes. This is very nice. This has to be the master bathroom. I'm liking the tile choice. Kind of like a light gray. Maybe a speck of blue in there. Like a light sky blue a little bit, maybe. This light gray bluish tile with this wallpaper. For a second, I thought it was marble, but it seems like it's um, floral of some sort, like flowers and maybe and grasses. But that works very nice. It looks very uh, prestigious, very, very high class. And then with those light walls, we have these this very dark cabinetry drawers and a very dark countertop. I don't uh, probably marble again, but I'm not sure or granite. A black, with black with that speck in there. Very cool. They have lights running all the way across the mirror. Little area to sit down, do your makeup. Here we go again. Yep, this is the master bathroom. Uh, do we have dual sinks? We do. Sink and sink. One sink is higher, though. We got a walk-in. Not a walk-in, but we got a tub and a shower. Maybe we have another skylight uh, up here as well. But that's a pretty nice master bath. Uh, this seems to be the kids' room. Uh, or, or just bedroom number two. Their bathroom. I'll tell you right now, I do not like the color of the tile, and I do not like the uh, sink. Toilet's okay. Curtain's okay. I like the light fixtures here. Very nice. I would just change some of this, I think. A little, a little too brown for my taste. Bedroom number three. All wood on the walls. Okay, very rustic, lodge-like, man cave, sort of. This could be a guest room. Okay, it looks like they got a built-in shelf and desk. Very nice. You could definitely use this if you want to. Uh, use it as a office instead. Here we got what I'm guessing is our basement uh, workout area. They use this as like a game room, but we, even though it is a basement, we got some lights to the outside. Some windows to the outside. Here's our three car garage. Each garage is separate. Each garage door is seems to be a single panel. Each one's separated by a column of brick. It's very nice. You can open up one garage door without having to open another one. We're probably not going to see the inside of the garage, though. Too many... Well, lots of pictures of the outside. 
I wish I can see the inside of the garage. But it's a nice patio, though. Here's our floor plan. Let's see what we got here. We'll start at the basement. Stairs leading down to the basement, rec room, and utility rooms where your water heater is. Furnace, probably things like that. Pretty nice little size rec room. You could probably, if you wanted to, section this off. Build a wall here and a door. And you could make another bedroom and possibly even another bathroom. Um, where is our... Okay, so it looks like our basement leads from where our laundry room kind of is. And then we got... This was our bedroom. I think this is our kids' bedroom. Um, or was this our master? I don't recall. No, it's definitely not our master. Our master bedroom's over here. The bedroom number two here. Third one here, so you'd have like basically everyone who lives in this house living over here, I want to say. We got a whole wall of just closets. Master closet, master closet, master closet, hall closet, hall closet. Okay. Let's see here. We got this bathroom here. I can't really see. Okay. This bathroom is four bedrooms, two and three. And then this bathroom would be like the main bathroom everyone uses during the day. Walk-in closet here. Walk-in closet, I think... I think this was the one that I said might be able to use as a um, as an office with that built-in desk because we got a little area here that's sectioned off. I'm not sure though. Big old family room we had. That was that sunroom. Living room here with that fireplace. Okay. Breakfast area. Kitchen was very nice. Very big. And that big old dining room where I had, I had a canvas on it. Look at this laundry room. This is crazy. So you have galley kitchen and then right across from it, galley laundry. Big old laundry room to do all your stuff here. They got a walk-in pantry. Very cool. Um, and then near this laundry room again, we have another, again, our fourth bedroom. So perhaps this bedroom is the one you could probably uh, convert instead into and a home office because it's kind of far away from everything else in the house in its own little its own little area and it has its own little bathroom as well or, or it could be your office or it could be your guest bedroom we have our doors leading to our garage looks like our garage might have windows on the back of it for some reason I don't know why uh, but they said the garage was heated too bad they did not have any pictures of it, though. But overall, I think I would not mind living in this house. You know, maybe a little bit of updates, some modernizing, get rid of some of the wallpaper, change some stuff, but keep the out with the bad old and with the good new. Uh, but definitely still keep some of that good old stuff that you like. Like, I would definitely keep this tuck away stuff here. I think I'd give this house maybe mm, 7.5, 7 or a 7.5 on a 10 point scale. Would I personally live here or buy it? Um, yeah, yeah, I think I would because it has a three car garage, three to four bedrooms. It's on a nice piece of land, about 1.3 acres. You're close to your neighbors, but you're not too darn close. And... What I really like is it's got that U-shaped driveway. So I think I would definitely uh, buy this house if I had the money for it and wanted to live in Peoria. So this is 390 East High Point Road in Peoria, Illinois, 61614. Go ahead and take a look at it on Zillow if you're looking for a house. This would be a, this would be a decent house to raise a family in. So thank you guys for watching. This was our mid-century modern Illinois video one. Uh, and I'll be bringing in another one pretty darn soon. Thanks for watching. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you would be so kind. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my other two channels linked in the description below. 
Also in the description below, I have some of my social medias. Go ahead and follow them. Uh, and I think that's it. You know, stay tuned for more content. Thank you.